welcome everyone. Today I have a new guide for ZZZ. Now in this video, I have prepared a lot of notes for additional hidden quests, chain quests, bonus loots, different NPCs, interactions, and also events that's available in the game. And I go through my replay video with you guys of how to quickly go forward, get a bunch of quests, completing those, and also get a lot of reward. I also have bonus tips for you guys. As you go through the game, you're gonna notice NPCs. As you talk to them, you'll get bonus loots. And there's a lot of things I want to share with you guys, so you can be getting a lot of experience, more polychromes, and also this will save you a lot of time as you clear through the content. And finally, I have also found additional resources and also different guides to help you guys get even more loots and also bonus stuff in the game. So let's get into the video. Now, as you guys can see in the notes behind me, I'll show you guys in the game as well. So there's also the notes and in the game. If you come over to the storage section of the game, so I click storage, and over here you can see that if we click the items we have on the fourth category, you're gonna see they are mail notes. Notes, notes are actually very helpful to help you determine what time of the day and the location of the hidden quests and also side quests and also chain quests that will be available in this location. And different mail offices will give you different notes and some of those you might have completed with a tick, some of those you might not have. So if you follow my advice and also the tips in this guide, you can be doing 10 or 20 of those mini side quests, getting tons of experience and also bonus loot just by going through those particular details and also hints. So you can see in the notes over here and as I screenshot those, and as you go around the map, depending on the time of the day, you're going to interact with different bamboos and also you're going to interact with different NPCs, hidden quests that will give you additional loot. So the main method of our guide is to combine different time of the day with in-game hints and also different locations to find more loots. Now the first question is, how do you change and also adjust the time of the day? If you look at the top corner of the game, you're going to see that there is time of the day once you click it. Usually it starts in the morning. And you can click once to rest and continue to progress the map once. So notice how I went from morning to afternoon. And then there's also night and then there's time to rest. So how this works is, as you progress through the time, the hints in the game will tell you over here around afternoon or daylight, or maybe in the afternoon or nighttime, there will be locations you want to go to on different parts of the map. And in order to change the time of the day, you can be playing various of content that uses energy that progress through the day. You can also reset the day by resting on the bed or the sofa in the game. And as you go through the schedules of timing, sometimes you get to pick the time of the quest. I'd recommend him picking the time for morning, so this way you can be always resting and then starting the quest right away. Now let me just show you guys over here. Once you receive different quests in a quest zone, notice there are different times of the day. Some of the quests are not time-gated. Other quests will be time-gated on certain status of the day. Now, what's more important is for us to visit different sections of the zone at different time of the day. And those locations will have a male NPC and also mini quest that is hidden depending on the location, NPC interactions, and also the time of the day, of course. So here is the second point. There are four locations that's currently available in the game that has male NPCs with hidden notes. And those NPCs will allow us to have additional point of interest that you want to interact. So looking over here, if I teleport it to the work construction site, you can see there are various point of interest. The golden ones are the ones I can complete for reward. The white ones are the ones I can talk to NPCs for interactions, for hidden coins, and also potentially for chain quest. The blue ones are the side quest that is available and also continues in the quest. And as you travel to those four locations on three different time of the day, or you can just directly use the hints that you have with the male NPCs over here. So you can use the hints notes over here. If you look at those, I've completed a few of those and there's a few I haven't completed. And this allows you to pinpoint where to go and how to do those quests. Now, as you go through the game, what you're gonna notice is, let me come over to my replays. So here I will prepare the replay as a short summary of how I was doing the quest very quickly and how I was getting a bunch of quests. So first I go through the nodes, I briefly scan the time of the day and also location. And now teleport to the location and you're gonna see there's a bunch of quests on the map that you can discover as you level up. So there are three ways of finding quests. The first way of finding quests is come at different time of the day. 
The second way is after leveling up one to two levels, there will be additional hidden quests that's available. And finally, as you interact with NPCs, you complete the task, they will message you and also give you more content and also more rewards that's coming in the game. And quickly going through, as you go through NPCs, they may be NPCs that is going to be white. Talking to those NPCs can also give you additional loots. And together, they may be NPCs that doesn't have an icon. So here is a little bamboo pet. And if you talk to this bamboo, you will get additional loots. So there's a lot of hidden things that's available in the game and how to teach you guys how to find them. In order to find the bamboos, the hidden nodes and also location of the day is essential. And also look for any bamboos you can talk to. Usually they will give you additional quests or give you additional loots. Now, before we jump over to the next part, in case you guys want to solve the puzzle itself, so stop over here and skip to the timestamp on the next part, just in case I don't want to spoil you of the little puzzles in the game. And those are the chain quests. And let's go to it. <laughs> that was my little warning. So there are a number of chain quests that is interactable and that ask you to find certain objectives in the game that you can take a photo. And I have screenshotted the location and also the different quest solutions you want to be taking those quests. So I'll show you guys over here. So here is the NPC I talked to, and this is the second stage of the chain quest. By talking to him, he actually doesn't tell you where to go to do the quest. You actually have to find the quest yourself, which is quite fun. Now, one of the ways I was finding the quest is that I was running around in the city and I was looking for this particular golden icon. Notice that there is an icon that appears on the camera that asks me to use the camera. And the moment you zoom into camera, it will show you the location and also target spotted for the quest solution. Now you can be running around for a long time, but you can also come over to my notes to see how to interact and also progress through the chain quest. And this will of course give you additional loads and also additional experience. Now, finally, one thing I forgot to mention, you can progress through the time of the day by completing quest. So here I was talking to different NPCs and by completing a quest, I spawn more quests next to me. Simply because as you progress through the day, different NPCs will spawn. And you can see there's one more quest over here. Then after talking to her, I can complete her quest and also unlock more content. Now I have also prepared some bonus tips for you guys. And some of you have found those super helpful in the previous video. So one of the biggest bonus tip I discovered, which is actually game breakingly good. So let me show you guys over here. I was going to make a separate video of this, but I figured I'd just explain to you guys over here as a bonus tip. So as you interact with the story content, you might have noticed there's a button over here called challenge mode. So let me come over to the game and I'll show you guys over here. And this is actually a pretty big discovery for myself. So if I come over to story, notice in the stories, there will be easy mode, there will be hard mode. And those stories, the easy mode will provide you about 30 and also 40 of the poly gems or polychromes. And here in the challenge mode, they will give you additional 20 polychromes. And this means you actually have to do the same map twice in a harder difficulty. But should you enter the game and then active the challenge mode, and this will allow you to change the fights into a double bonus. So once you active the challenge mode on the first time you clear the story and then you go into battle, what's going to happen is notice my loot is 60 poly gems or polychromes. So this means I was actually getting both of the loot from the challenge, I believe, and also from the story. And this might have saved me some time instead of clearing those twice. Now I haven't fully confirmed this, but it seems to be working. And if this is not the case, well, I'm getting bonus loot. You don't see any of the content. I can get 60 of the loot over here unless I do both challenges and also no more easy mode. And this is quite interesting, right? So if you guys are happy, so if you guys are strong enough, make sure you always click the challenge mode before you start the game. And this will save you so much more time. Now on the topic of time saving, we do have a previous tick. I want to remind you guys. If you guys are short on getting all of your five of all of the three coins for the completion of all the collection reward, you can go into any of the maps that you haven't completed. Let me see if I can find one. I actually complete most of those. So no, no, I actually complete most of those. Okay, there's one over here. So there's one over here. Let's say if I'm going to the exploration site and over here, notice I'm missing one of the coins. What I can do is I can go into the map find the remaining coins and then leave right away in that particular gameplay. 
I do not have to finish it. I don't have to do the unnecessary battles. And you can see in the screenshot. And this means once I leave the game, I actually get the loot. I don't have to do those unnecessary battles that doesn't give me any loot. And this will save you so much time as you go for full completion of the game. Now, finally, before I finish, I have also found additional resources and also guides over here, which will show you where are all the coins located and how to get those coins. As you use my method previously, you would have gotten a lot of coins. But just for those of you that want the full completion of all the 28 coins, I will have the links available for you guys to have a look to get more coins and also more loot that is hidden in the game for bonus stuff. Now, similar to all the videos, if you want to follow the notes, those will be available in the links below. And if you find my videos helpful and you want to see more future videos for the ZZZ and also other games to come, make sure you subscribe to the channel and keep the notification on for the latest content.